Today we review the new guy from 2002. This is for Movie Club Strikes Back. The movie had been chosen by the star of this film, DJ Quells himself. If you want to check out the movie pick, it's over on the Movie Club Strikes Back channel. I'd probably say this is considered like your standard high school-esque movie. That's not a bad thing. The movie does definitely have funny parts. There's the kind of like dance montage. Dizzy's dad is pretty funny. Ed Griffin's character really overall is one of the more comedic parts because it's kind of silly to think that he rules everything. More on that in a bit. The new guy felt a little to me like uh, Mean Girls if it had been a boy rather than Lindsay Lohan. This movie was made before that. Dizzy is played by DJ Qualls and you'll recognize him from Road Trip and the sequel Road Trip Beer Pong. At least that's where I recognize him from. He's also been in Perception recently and he was on an episode of Numbers. Uh, his character's good. I think all the performances in this are really good, and none of the cameos distract from the film. So this movie is about Dizzy. He is a high school kind of geek. He ends up getting prescribed some drugs for Tourette's that make him kind of go crazy, and then he ends up in jail, meets Eddie Griffin's character, Luther, who seems to know his way around the prison system and how to get what you want, and also uh, how to make a new impression for yourself when you are changing. So Luther tries to give Dizzy some pointers and Dizzy gets out, he gets himself expelled from his own school, he gets a new reputation and a new name at his new school, but by doing so he loses his old friends. Zoe Deschanel plays Nora. And the movie has a lot of cameos, there's uh, Vanilla Ice in the store, there's Gene Simmons as the Reverend, uh, you can see Ch uh, Charlie O'Connell. There's also Tony Hawk. Eliza Dushku plays Danielle, and she's like the cheerleader, uh, most popular girl at Dizzy's new school. And because of that, Dizzy ends up trying to win her over. And it's a good story uh, overall. The soundtracks for this really good. There's some Cypress Hill, Simple Plan, uh, Bowling for Soup, everything from that era. So it's really good. There were a few things that felt probably unrealistic for high school life. The fact that he came out of nowhere and like really united the school um, because the fact that like at the end the football team is kind of protecting the short guy that initially had been totally picked on and it's kind of like a whole reform of the structural system in that high school but it's a movie so it doesn't have to mimic exactly what real life would be that's why we watch movies however I would say delete on this I don't really see much rewatch value in it um, but definitely check it out if you want to check out Movie Club Strikes Back, the channel will be here. If you want to reach me, you can do so below in the comments. You can reach me on Twitter at MadLFan. Use hashtag TodayWeReview for this. I have also started uh, Today We Play, where we play video games. Right now it's uh, Minecraft. If there are any other ones that you want to see me play, let me know and we can do that. Thanks for watching.